In this ice cream video editing tutorial, I will show you how to edit a sequence of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. I've opened up um, ice cream and I'm just going to go over one thing first. It will always open up the last project you created. Yours, um, if it's your first time, will in this area here the media library will be blank so just to go over one thing if you come up to the top of the screen you've got something called my projects and this is where you manage your projects so if I wanted to create a new project I'll just select this and it will bring up this screen here which will look like yours if you've never used uh, ice cream before you can also in the projects manager select the project uh, some of the projects that you've previously worked with and delete them so anyway I'm going to double click this one so this is what um, ice cream looks like when you first open up the editor so you've got a few options top of the screen you can either select add videos and then navigate to where the folder that your videos are stored in and then just literally select the videos you want to use and hit open or as I prefer to do in most video editors I actually use the file browser and drag the videos into the media library okay now at present they will all be selected so if you drag into the timeline here now it will bring all the videos in um, as one uh, as well in this case four videos you can deselect and drag them in individually if you want but I'm going to just drag all four into this timeline here now you can move your videos by dragging them about if you want to change the order and that's basically it when it comes to this timeline here so the next thing I want to do is edit the video so I'm going to just select this very first one and it's very easy editing in this uh, video editor I would recommend it for any beginner um, and in fact if I wanted to do some quick videos I wouldn't be adverse to using it myself but anyway first video clip selected select trim now if you place your pointer over the beginning yellow marker, hold down your left mouse button, you just simply drag it over to the point where you want your video to start. Come to the end point and what I would do is actually drag it to beyond the point you want it to start because they never work very well backwards these editors and then bring it forwards. so this video will render from this point to this point here and these sections will be ignored I'm just going to select done do this clip so I'll select this clip here trim I'm going to drag this end over and then again with this one I'll come back beyond the point I want it to finish and then drag it this way and select done select this clip trim and this is quite a long clip so you can see this works quite well these aren't proxy clips or anything it's just you may have to come back if you go too far so we'll start here, select this one, drag it back and then come forward again. Finish here, select done. One more. And this one is a very long clip. So I'm going to just whack this over. And this is far better for editing and even open shot. Well, 
than an open shot. In fact, I'll go back a bit. Very little lag in the timeline. And I'll drag this one to the point there and drag this out to here and select done. So this is all ready to run now. So I'll just play this through, just make sure I'm happy with that. It's looking okay, right. So there's not much else you can do. I would just go over one thing. Um, if you select the little plus sign, this brings up your options for um, transitions. They're not that good, I'll have to be honest with you. But if you want to put a transition on, the f dissolve is pretty good. So just select. You can try the others if you want. So I've got dissolve now. So when I play through this here, you get this dissolve sort of crossfade. Um, and the other thing is, you could, if you wanted to, on each clip, modify the audio up here. Um, but I'm not going to do that. So I'll just leave this as is because this is meant to be a quick tutorial. There are options for adding text and whatnot. But as I said, I want to make this tutorial quite quick. So once you're ready, all you do now is come up to export video. So this is where you might want to give your project a title so we'll call it trains now the default on this for me is my desktop I'll leave it on the desktop but if you want to change where you want to save your video you just select the folder here and change where you want your video to uh, be saved in um, formats you haven't got a lot got mp4 webm and mp3 this is for audio only I would stick with mp4 nothing wrong with that resolution 4k at present because I've been playing around with it so I'm going to reset this to full HD um, duration export duration so you've got full project uh, first minute, first 10 minutes, leave it at full project. And select export. And when this is finished, I'll come back to this and play the video. Once your video's finished rendering, hopefully you'll have a reasonably good sequence of edited video clips. Hopefully that helps someone. Thank you for watching. Cheers.